Washington will go on the road to the Coliseum to take on those USC Trojans. Washington is a three and a half point favorite. I've been on the Huskies all year, Mason. I've been on them all year. It's been my team, and I enjoyed the ride. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the string and get the bus to stop. I gotta get off. Um, mm. and and I'm not, I'm not saying USC is gonna win this game, and that's not what I'm saying here. But I don't want to be a part of this. Okay. This game's going to look, the, the over under is what, 70 something? 76, last I checked. I'm going <clears> over. <throat> yeah. I, I'm going to go over. I, th- we just watched what, 51 to 49 or 50 to 49, whatever it was against Cal. It was 50 to 49 because Cal went for two to try to win the game last week against USC because USC's. Defense is so damn bad. They were like, oh, we can get this no problem. Uh, and, and they wanted to end the game. And they very well could have. It, it was just a, you know, a busted play or whatnot. But we've talked about the ebbs and flows of the season. And Washington has has been kind of down in the valley the last couple of couple of games. And, and they've managed to win the game, which is what really good teams do. They figure out other ways to win. Uh, when plan A is not working. But ever since that 36-33 to 33 victory that Washington has has had over Oregon, they beat Oregon's, or, uh, excuse me, Arizona State 15-7, to 7, uh, in which I don't believe they scored an offensive touchdown. And then they beat no, Stanford 42-33. to 33. Mm-hmm. So there is 100% a common trend between those games, those last couple games. Um, and a big difference between the Oregon game and and before in this season. All of a sudden, this Washington team cannot run the ball at all. Uh, they cannot, I mean, and I'm not saying they're running it for, they're not even running it for 50 yards. Yeah. They're, they're, they ran the ball against Arizona State for 13 yards, Mason. Um, they ran the ball against Stanford for like 30-something yards. Got outrushed by over 100 yards by both of those teams. And guess what? Both of those teams almost won the damn game because Washington doesn't have the dudes up front on this defense to stop a formidable rushing attack. Yeah. Which leads me to this matchup and something that we talked about uh, in our reaction show. Marshawn Lloyd's having one hell of a year. The USC is a good running football team. They, they, um, they rush. It says for 153 yards um, a game. That I feel like that's even a deceptive number. I feel like this is a 200-yard a game caliber rushing team. They throw a lot because they have to. They'll get they get behind. Um, mm-hmm. If this was a somewhat reasonably balanced team, this team would average 200 yards rushing. Um, yeah. One of the problems for USC in their um, you know, they've obviously – they lost a couple games in a row there, one to Notre Dame, uh, one to Utah. Uh, and a common trend in those games is they had a really, really hard time keeping defenders away from Caleb Williams. The offensive line uh, hasn't been great at protecting them, but in this situation, Washington has been horrible at getting after the quarterback and getting sacks. So this game I feel like is super evenly matched as far as um, – you know, the strengths and the weaknesses here. Um, and I think it's going to produce a very high scoring football game. Now, we talked about Washington being able to run the football. And we've talked about USC several times this year in the fact that when you're when your offense has to go to the doctor because it's got a boo boo and it needs to get fixed, the doctor prescribes you a bottle of of Lincoln Riley's defense. And he's like, here, take one of these with water at bedtime, you know. You're going to be fine. I promise you're going to make a full recovery. I fully expect Washington to get back to Washington things that we saw earlier this year. This team, even, even with the, the struggles that they've had recently, they're still averaging 400 yards a game through the air. These wide receivers have got to get it together. They've got to be able to run the ball. You just got to need to be able to run the ball for 100 yards. That's all they need. They yeah. just have to have some balance. When a team is sitting back, I don't care how bad a defense it is, um, and, and they probably haven't played a defense as bad as USC yet this year. But my my point is, you know, that this this is an opportunity 
for Washington to get right here, and I think they do. Um, give me Washington, uh, and I'll, I'll I'll predict the score the exact same as last week. I think it's going to be uh, Washington coming out on top, though, fifty to forty nine. Give me Washington Huskies. Wow. Okay. So very high scoring for sure. Um, I to me this for for the betters out there. Um, this is a preview show. It's not a betting show. Check in Friday for that. But uh, I, I just I would stay the hell away from these numbers. It's a lot of dang points. Um, I, you know, I do also have the overplay. Uh, that that's kind of where I'm leaning. But I, it, it's it's so tough to 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 play over 76 or it was at 76 and a half i think earlier a lot but. of people are just picking the 76 under just on principle i but know you've got to think about that i mean dude, i don't like that like, either that's like okay that's like 41 to 35 or whatever what isn't that what that is yeah so doesn't that seem very very reasonable for this game yeah absolutely absolutely um you know and and this is this is kind of the tale of two Great passing attacks, um, and, and USC's got the the rushing attack to combine with their passing attack. But um, both of these teams have been kind of slow as of late, you know. And it hasn't always been their offense being slow. Washington has had that that kind of uh, happen, you know, um, the past couple of weeks. But but uh, USC, it's it's obviously their defense that is is such a gaping hole, quite literally. Um, but you know, I think that a lot of people don't realize, but USC has, has actually been a more balanced offense than than what some may realize. They've they've got twenty six touchdowns coming on the ground, twenty six touchdowns coming through the air. So uh, more balanced than Washington. Yeah, I don't know how you can be more balanced than that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but their their defense, like I mentioned, is really bad, and and they've been worse. They've they've gotten worse as as the season's gone on, um, allowing more than forty points in four out of the last five games. It has USC. Um, one thing that they do well on defense, though, is is rush the quarterback, and they they've been able to produce sacks. They've been able to get some quarterback hurries. Offenses have have kind of picked up on what they're doing, and they're they're scheming around that. It's gotten them in trouble if they don't get to the quarterback. A lot of times, um, th their linebackers aren't great at coverage. Um, they're having to send their linebackers too because I think they're realizing like. It, that we kind of got to go all or nothing. We, we got to yeah. go for the sack or, you know, we're going to give up a lot of play, uh, a lot of yards. And that's, that's kind of what's happening is they're not getting there uh, in some of these, these huge plays that are happening. But um, if they are, if you, if USC is going to win this game, then they're going to have to have like six sacks, I think uh, to, to, to slow this, this um, Washington pass attack down. And I don't know that they're going to be able to do that. Um, you know the Huskies. On the other hand, they they have done some things well on defense. Um, it, it, some things well. They, they've limited the scoring, allowing uh, only twenty point six points per game uh, on average. Um, and a lot of that success has come in the red zone. Um, teams get get a lot of total yards on, on the Huskies. They run the ball pretty well, but they bowed up uh, and allowed just seventeen touchdowns in the red zone on twenty six attempts. Um, so that's that's actually a little bit better than you might think, you know, for uh, for Washington. But a lot of the touchdowns they've given up have been outside of the red zone. They've given up some chunk plays and things like that. Um, to me, though, you know, I, I think I think uh, it, it's really going to come down to the wide receivers for Washington. Um, I think they're a little bit better. I think that they have they have a better quality, you know, top three wide receivers than than USC. Um, USC is deeper. I think they have a better receiving room. I'd take USC's receiving room over Washington's in, in most cases, but um, those three are, are, are really good for Washington. Uh, Adunze and Polk and uh, what's the other guy's uh, name? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. McMillan. McMillan. There we go. Yep. So um, yeah, those three, I mean, gosh, they're, they're so good. You never know which one's going to pop off uh, on, mm -hmm. on any given week. Uh, they're all three really good at it. So to me, I think that's the difference in this game. So uh, I, I do think it's going to be a shootout. I do think it's going to, I do think the over is going to hit at 76. And and if, if you, if you have to bet on this game for whatever reason, I don't know why you would, but um, if you have to, if somebody's got a gun to your head and they say pick, 
you know, uh, I, I would pick the over. And um, yeah. I, I think part of that is because both of these teams score a lot of points. Both of these teams have some holes on defense. Um, mm -hmm. But also, if the if the betting public is is betting under the total, go against that. I think Vegas knows what they're doing there. Um, so so give me Washington to win. I think it's going to be forty four to forty one, um, which would which would mean that USC would actually cover uh, in this case. But but because uh, it, it's it's a three and a half point spread. At, last I checked at least. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Washington wins the game. I think it's close. I think it's a shootout, high scoring game, just like we like it in the PAC 12. Give me Washington to win. Yep. I, uh, look, I, I think there's definitely, well, obviously the uh, line that close, there is a path for USC to win. And, uh, if they can produce some turnovers like they did last year, I think it'll obviously go a long way in this game because nobody can waste any possessions in this one. So a turnover it could could be the difference in this one. Um, and, and wouldn't surprise me at all to see USC um, spoil Washington season here. And because I've been saying the whole time, this Pac-12, you, you've got Washington at the top, obviously, and then you got USC and Oregon. Excuse me, each with one loss. So USC is still right in it for the Pac-12. Not the playoff, but they are in it for the Pac-12. Um, so they have a chance to really turn over the apple cart here. And I think that there's a decent chance that, that they that they could. Uh, matchup predictors got actually USC favored to win this thing 54% to Washington's 46. I'm gonna, if I'm gonna bet the spread, I'm gonna take USC to cover. Um the the three and a half, I think they can keep it within or win this game. Um, I, I think Washington, the more I look at this, momentum is not the way of Washington, and I would feel really dumb to take Washington and the points, and yeah. uh, especially after what I've seen the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, Michael Penix might be hurt or something. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. This, I'm not some kind of Washington insider. I couldn't hardly live any farther from Washington. Um, but I, Michael Penix might be hurt, man. I, I don't, I don't know. Something, something's off uh, with this offense. Like I said, best thing for an offense is USC's defense, and I think that they'll score a bunch of points. Um, but, but give me USC to cover here. I, I like the cover.